Hello, my beautiful, beautiful mermaids. How are you today? My name is Serafina Delirium, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am so grateful for you taking any time at all out of your busy schedule to hang out with me. So I really appreciate you being here, and I hope that if you haven't already, that you subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to give this a huge thumbs up and stick around for more videos. Now today I am wearing a wig, <laughs> but I hope that you are having a more amazing, fantastic day. That is exactly why I'm wearing a wig, because I want to be a mermaid. I'm also wearing mermaid leggings, so we're in full dress up today, full dress up, because you, my friend, are mermazing. <laughs> this is a valentine I had to keep, and it is part of our video today. But this is a video all about makeup empties in beautiful packaging that I could not throw away. <laughs> I could not throw away. I call them my VIPs. I used to keep them in an Elizabeth Arden makeup gift box from like the 80s or 90s. And anyway, I am a makeup hoarder. <laughs> and this is all makeup packaging I could not throw away. So let's get into this right now. We need to talk about this right now, ladies. It's a problem, <laughs> but also it's very adorable. This is the first thing because you are more amazing. That is why I want to make videos for you. So like I said earlier, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I really appreciate it. I would like to get to 500 and then later on 1,000 so that I can start making some money on YouTube. I know that means that there will be ads on this channel, but I have a family to support, so I know you guys understand. That's why I'm here today because I want to be your friend and I, I don't know, I have fun too. This is fun. So it's all about community, right? It's called the YouTube community. So anyways, ah, all right, this makeup, um, oh, this makeup box, this chocolate box is adorable and I want to keep it as a permanent decoration in my room. I feel guilty about this and that's why I'm huffing and puffing because I actually bought this for my stepdaughter <laughs> and I had to get her another one because this was so cute. I had to keep it for myself and I'm like, you're a bad stepmama. And then I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> I got her another one. I think it was just like it or in cats on it or something. I think she would have understood. I think if she's watching this right now, she understands my dilemma. But she just turned 14. Holy crap. These kids are growing up so fast. So she just turned 14. But I do feel guilty about that to this day. And I probably shouldn't. But I just love this little box. So anyways, moving forward to the next item on the agenda. We, I mean, all the items on the agenda. We have a whole bunch here. So let's get into something with mermaids on it. I have the box. I should go get it. It's in my makeup inventory, which we need to also go over today. But I mean, not the box, the actual eyeshadow palette. Let me get that really quick. Okay, so this is the box for the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow, and it's the Disney Princess collection. But this one is the Little Mermaid. It is in Under the Sea. And it's good. It's a little bit sheer unless you layer the eyeshadow. Um, so I really like this a lot. And I just, I have this one for myself. I got it for my 30th birthday. So I just have one. And here it is swatched. You can see it's very kind of sheer. But... That is the packaging for it. And I had to keep it. Like, I could not get rid of this. It's too cute. I think I'm going to use it for something. I don't know what, but at some point I will. Like, a little tiny mermaid display case. Like, I make dollhouse furniture and dollhouse things. I just made some books for my dollhouse the other day. So I really feel like that could fit in somewhere as, like, a miniature. So anyways, next up we have, um, let's pull this out because this reminds me of the ColourPop. Because it's the same kind of design, packaging design. This is the Enmo Cosmetics Velveteen Dream Shadow. It's a single shadow, obviously, in Hot Girl Summer. And it's completely empty. Well, duh. These are all, these are all empties. And, of course, the back of it fell out. I wasn't expecting that, to tell you the truth. But um, here's the insert. So I'm thinking, since this came out, here's the pan, the um, tin. This could actually be used as like a display case because I have an entomology collection 
And I really feel like I could keep critters in these. Like these would be great little displays for beetles, ladybugs. Um, I love lunar moths and I love butterflies and I have a praying mantis and other things, but like I feel like this would be good for small ones. But yes, yeah, the same packaging as the ColourPop. And this one is full, but this one is empty. So I can use this one for something. Up next, we have the, this is by, I think, Taste Beauty. Um, I assume Taste Beauty. It says Centric Beauty, LLC. But I, I think it's Taste Beauty. Pretty sure they're connected. This is a flavored lip balm, but it's Mandalorian, like Star Wars Mandalorian. And this is Baby Grogu, or Baby Yoda, as he's called. And I have tried to like, cause I'd love to use this for like earring, backs of earrings or single post earrings. I'd love to cut this like sun shape out of here, little plastic lines. And then it could just be a pot, right? And you could put stuff in it, but I haven't been able to figure it out yet. And so it just kind of sits, but it is adorable. I have another one that is unopened that I have not used yet in my makeup stash. And it's just a ball of lip balm just like an EOS lip balm. It's just a ball of it on top of um, this plastic sun thing. Um, and underneath is just space. Like there's no lip balm underneath it, which seems like really odd, honestly, but it is what it is, right? Okay, so these are boxes for lipsticks. And this one, I'm not gonna go get anything else because I don't want my wig to fall off. You can see it kind of like, going backward a little bit. I think this wig is made for kids. <laughs> and, and I'm over here trying to be a full grown up wearing it, strutting it around like I'm a mermaid, you know. But anyway, I'm not gonna go get the lipstick, but this is a box for a Medusa's makeup lipstick in red square. I have never used the lipstick before, but the box has a lunar moth on it. And I absolutely love lunar moths. They're my favorite thing ever. I want one tattooed on my arm. Like I'm really thinking about it. Um, but this is a butterfly on one side and then a lunar moth on the other. And that's why I kept this box. I just couldn't, I could not. Okay. You understand. And then this I kept just because it goes with this and I really didn't know exactly what I was doing with this yet, but I think it's interesting that this little lipstick, which I'm wearing right now, this is by Real Her Beauty. And it's a moisturizing lipstick in girl power. It's only two grams, so it's teeny tiny. Unlimited cosmic powers, itty bitty living space, just like Genie from Aladdin. Um, you know, Robin Williams, original Genie line. Um, but the box has like a paper insert in there. It pushes the lipstick up so it doesn't take up the entire box. So it's odd to me. I really don't need this. I don't know why this is here. I'm going to throw it in empties. So I'm not going to keep that anymore, but that's just a box. Okay. Up next, I have this Tatcha. This was an empty. I recycled the other one. This is the second one that I used up and it's five milliliters. So it's really a travel size or a deluxe sample. Um, it's the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And I, one time I actually saw someone trying to sell the empty bottles of these on Mercari. And I'm like, are you nuts? These people are not going to buy this. It's empty. So it's just a little spray bottle, plastic. So I really should just like let it go and recycle it. But I don't know. I'm thinking about it though. I don't know why my computer is making noises, but there's no USB drive except for my printer connected. So it's being weird. So let's move on. This is something that I've had for a while. Um, I panned this in like 2014, 2015, 2016, somewhere in there. This is the Estee Lauder sumptuous extreme lash multiplying volume mascara in 01 extreme black and I just loved the packaging so much I kept it at that time I was planning a project to like keep makeup empty makeup packaging and then make like art out of it to showcase how much waste we create um and I think saving these things that I don't want to throw away kind of shows me how much I've accumulated and I'm really looking at it like wow this kind of does make a political statement you know I'm very environmentally um, focused which is why I'm minimizing my collection so much and selling stuff so much because I have more makeup than I could use in an entire lifetime so I really should just be passing it along 
but I couldn't get rid of that. It's so pretty and it's gold and it's fancy. I would get another one. And I thought that they were super expensive because at the time they were, but now they're much more easy to find and cheaper. This next product is actually um, a really like expensive designer item from like a person that does like, you know, um, Botox and stuff. Of course, I would never do anything like that. I don't believe in anything like that. This is by Epion Beverly Hills. Um, it's his Flawless Serum. They used to follow me on Instagram. Um, this is one fluid ounce of 30 milliliters. And it was okay. Um, I really I did like it. I would get it again. I feel like um, it's just a fancy pants bottle, um, which I'm not going to like resell the bottle or anything because they're a dime a dozen on Mercari, which is my current selling platform, but I'm just going to keep it because I don't know. It looks fancy. I could put it with my perfume collection or something because I keep empty perfume bottles. Um, so up next I have like this cute little tiny deodorant. I think this would be great for a doll, like dollhouse collection. If you, you're like me, you like miniatures, you like dolls. I really think that this would fit in really well. But I've just kept it. I got it. I got it for my one of my sons who is not quite at puberty yet, but he's seven. So seven going on eight, right? Seven going on 14 is more like it. But this is the native deodorant in coconut and vanilla and it's 0 0.35 ounces. It's a travel size. So this is mine, which is kind of it's still a smaller deodorant. There's way bigger ones out there, but you can see how tiny this is compared to a lady speed stick. Um, and the, the lady speed stick is 1.4 ounces and this is, you know, just tiny, tiny. Um, it's been used up. It did not really prevent BO though. I remember that. Ew, I'm not going to show you that. I'm sorry if you saw that. That's gross. Um, so I should probably clean that up. <laughs> okay. So up next we have a clean it zero. I don't know why they call it this. This is literally what the container says. Clean it zero cleansing balm revitalizing like you can tell that the people who designed this do not speak very good english but they tried um this is by banilico b-a-n-i-l-a-c-o clean it zero cleansing balm revital revitalizing and it's a travel size container and i kept it because i love small containers i have reused this like when i first used this it was it was okay and then i put um skincare in it so I kept using it a couple times, like for moisturizers and stuff. So I could use it again. So that's why I kept it. What is going on with my computer? Why did it get dark? It's not dying. <clears throat> I just touched something on it and made it do that. I don't know what happened. <laughs> life, guys, life. Okay, so up next I have some Blackheart Beauty nail polishes. Now these were sold by Hot Topic. And I got like a collection of 10 of them. I did sell a few um, because I just wasn't using them. So I sold a few of them. But these are, these are the three that I kept. I have three. Oh, no. I have four that are, I cannot use them. They are unusable. They are either dried up or drying up. Um, so I have four. Now, um, these are all Black Heart Beauty, which was sold by Hot Topic, and you might be able to get them on Mercari or Poshmark or different sites that you might like resell or rebuy on. So here's the first one. They don't really have names. They'll say Purple Shimmer or Orange Shimmer. Um, some of them just don't. Here's one. Um, it's a dark shimmery purple or was. I really loved this one. I just love the containers so much. I think if I create, I do have a nail polish line, <laughs> but if, if I had better packaging, I would use something like mermaid tails or skulls. Um, very cool. Here's a black shimmer, or was a black shimmer. It says on the bottom, um, black sparkle nail polish. They were originally $5 a piece. Has some silver specks in it. And then we have a, this is called the red shimmer. I call it the heavy red shimmer because it was a very dark red. I used to love this a lot. And then last but not least, we have one that's glow in the dark. It is still usable, but it is just to the point where um, it's hard to get it out. You can't really get it out anymore. Um, they didn't make these like with thought to what would happen when it got to the bottom. The wig is falling down again. All right, up next, I have some nail polishes from my childhood. These are actually 
Oh gosh, let me fix this really quick and we'll get into my childhood nail polishes. We'll just take it out. So these are from when I was like 10, 11, 12. These are fantasy makers, wet and wild fantasy makers, glow in the dark, like tombstone nail polishes. Well, this one's not, but I didn't really like this one as much. Um, I used a lot of black and I didn't use a lot of glitters, but I loved these because of the shape of them. And I was like a total poser back in the day. And I loved black and I was using like goth stuff, trying to be all goth and cool. And I thought these were so punk rock, right? So I have three of them. <clears throat> I would think this is the absolute oldest one. And you can tell that it's old. It's old. It is for display only, my friend. And then these two are around the same time. They're like a year or two after that. Like, I'm thinking 2004, 2004, 2005, somewhere in there, up to 2007. That's just my estimate. Okay, up next, we have a nail polish I just can't use anymore. Um, it just doesn't dry. I really should try and see if it works just one more time before I... Put it in here but i just love the look of these this is the revlon nail polish in 933 chameleon so it's kind of a shimmery uh, multi-chrome duochrome nail polish all right up next i have one that i made from my nail polish brand so i am selling them in lots on mercari if you are interested in serafina delirium cosmetics mermaid nail polish i do have them for sale i will make you a great deal i have quite a few available this one is clear and i use it up to the very bottom it looks like there's a little bit left but it just started to dry up on me so we're done with it this is in floating bubbles top coat and i of course i kept the bottles like there's no way those bottles are going anywhere if they're empty like i'm gonna just start like if my products don't sell i'm gonna start using them myself Okay, so up next I have a container that my mom gave me, and it's kind of special because she gave it to me, and I got it for her. It's a, a um, Olay Regenerist. She took the labels off and stuff, but I can't remember exactly which one, but I know it's an Olay Regenerist, like hydrating overnight cream or something, sculpting cream, you know. So she likes to use stuff like this for like earrings and stuff, and that's where I get the idea from. So she gave it to me, and I kept it. And I can use it for the same thing that I use, like, this Benilico one for. So. Alright, up next I have the cutest little Dr. Pepper lip balm. I would love to get another one of these. Or, like, the whole collection, whole set. Because they're adorable. But then again, they have, like, these miniature things now that you can buy for your dollhouse. Instead of, you know, going through an entire lip balm to get a miniature thing. <laughs> Whereas, like, back in my day... Us old people, us 30-year-olds from, like, the 90s, that grew up in the 90s and 2000s, we would get the time, the cool chapsticks and then empty it out and keep it. Or at least I would because I'm a makeup hoarder, right? Poor kid makeup hoarder. Poor kid turned makeup packaging hoarder. <laughs> so this is a Dr. Pepper lip balm by Taste Beauty. None other than Taste Beauty. I believe it's by Taste Beauty. I'm going to assume... Oh, it's by lotalove.com, but it doesn't matter to me because I'm going to I'm gonna say Taste Beauty did this. It was a nice flat lip balm the whole way through. Like, it was a flat one. Okay, up next I have two clear lip, lip gloss containers. I just couldn't throw these away. They were too pretty. It felt really good to use these up all the way. I can't even remember. It, it wore off the words on the side, but these are both by... Oh my gosh, Jules Smith Beauty, or Jules Smith Jewel. This one was in Skinny Dip, and this one was in Sunshine, and they were just pretty. And I would really like to make lip glosses for Serafina Delirium Cosmetics, and I really like this packaging. Okay, we also have an Urban Decay lipstick. This is a, I cannot remember, I will try to find it and link down below or write down what it is. This is the Sheer Streak lipstick. I know that for sure. It's expired. It's been expired. I kept it because it's vintage, so to speak. It's vintage for me, um, 2000, somewhere in there, but it's definitely expired. I cannot use it anymore. And so I just decided to put it in my VIPs because to some people, this is kind of cool. So I kept it. But there's no way I could sell that, you know. So this is a special one for me. Um, actually, 
here's two more that are special too. But this one I love. This was during a very difficult time in my life. I got this from my friend and the bottom label has come off a bit, but I would really like to get the exact same one. I would like to get a replica of this. I've tried, I've bought two Chanel lipsticks since then and I've given them both to my mom because they just weren't for me. But this one is a Chanel. It's the only one that I have and it's just a container. I've had it forever. I emptied it out eventually and I kept it because there's no way that this is going in the trash. But this is in, this is a Rouge Coco Shine in a 70 Sourier. It's spelled S-O-U-R-I-R-E. -R -E. And that's the one that I would like to get because it would remind me of, her name was Iraqi, but she called herself Ashley. And that is the person who gave it to me. I would really like to find her again. There are so many people from that time, like Greg and Mindy. Those, are, those who know me know exactly who I'm talking about. Tim, Greg, Mindy, um, Ashley, um, my gosh. Brandon, there are so many people that just like changed my life. Alan, um, Patrick, geez, there were so many kind people during that time. So anyways, it's just a reminder and it's a positive reminder because it reminds me of how strong I've been, how resilient I've been. And you know, we get sick of being strong and resilient. We just want to lay in the bed sometimes and be like, God, I don't want to be tough today, right? But at the end of the day, we know that God's going to get us through. Not to get religious, but we know that God's going to get us through it. And we can do anything. So, tough cookies. Alright, so these are the other two lipsticks that are special. Obviously, they're empty. This one, I just panned it. Yes! You know I was using this for the longest time. I always talked about it on this channel. It was number three in my lipstick panning project. It didn't need to even be in there because I use it up so fast. I got it, and it was gone in a year. But no, it was gone in like six months. I don't know why. I just loved it. I just loved it so much. I got another one. I don't know why. Probably because I loved it so much. This is a Milani Color Fetish Lipstick in 110 Lustful. Or was. It's been scraped out. I don't know why I made that mistake because when I scraped it out, I didn't use what I scraped out. I ended up throwing it away. Um, whatever. So yeah, I won't make that mistake again. This next one is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter. And I loved this. I loved packaging and it looks like a quilt it's just so pretty it's in 070 cherry tart and obviously it's empty <laughs> there's nothing in there I don't know why I'm showing it to you when there's nothing in there but it was just really pretty so I kept it I have a few more things in here and you can certainly give me your opinion of this whole thing at any point in this video I am not gonna get offended if you tell me this is the most god-awful thing on earth, this is so stupid, why am I holding on to this stuff? Go ahead and tell me because it's true. I tell myself this all the time. Why are you holding on to this stuff? <laughs> because I grew up poor and this stuff is beautiful and I feel like if I just throw it away, no one else will appreciate it. And you know what? When I die someday, my kids can throw it in the garbage. That's up to them. But right now, let me enjoy my stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? Isn't that fair? Is that fair? Okay, so this next thing I could always use as a display case for my bug collection. Like I was talking about with the Inmo Cosmetics one earlier, like Ladybugs, Beetles. This is what I think of. I think like, what can I use to put my bugs in? I love my bug collection. I love oddities, bird's eggs, seashell, little things. So this is a great display case. This is a Believe Beauty Brighten Up Color Correcting Concealer in Light or Medium. I used it as a cream blush for the longest time and, oh, don't drop it. And I used it as a concealer and I just used it up one day and I decided that it didn't matter and my complexion was too dark. One time that I did my makeup, I was just going to use it up and I did. Up next, I have another thing that would make a great display case. This is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. And that's why I kept it because it wasn't broken like the other one that I have. It's, it's okay. Like, I had one that was just cracked in half. But yeah, I hit pan in it, and I decided to keep it. But this is the shade 001 Transparent. This is a pretty, like, good powder. Pretty reliable. Next, I have two tins. I like tins. I don't know if you can tell I like tins. There's an Altoids tin over here somewhere. It doesn't matter. I'll find it later. This is a Nivea Creme. I get these from my mom. They're pretty inexpensive at like Walmart. You can get them for a dollar, two dollars at Walmart. So this is the Nivea Creme or Nivea Cream. 
it's one ounce, it's empty, and I would love to reuse it for like a moisturizer maybe, or just keep it for a collector's item because one day we're not gonna be able to find those anymore. And then I have this. Now this is a vintage, like for me it's vintage because it's from like 2008. Um, from someone that I don't like, but when I got my first tattoo, which is actually on my shoulder blade back here, it is actually, can I show it to you? Do you think I can show it to you? My first tattoo? <laughs> I don't know if I can. Oh, that's part of it. It's like, it's a half a broken heart and there's a fairy wing on it and I can't do it right now. It won't let me, but that's okay. It's a shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> I don't really like it. I want to cover it up, but I would like actually like to turn it into a mermaid with fairy wings. Like that would be cool. A mermaid tattoo. How cool would that be? I'd be like a real sailor. <laughs> Give her like an anchor and everything. Or just, it has the wings, just put a mermaid on it. Just do a mermaid instead of the stupid broken heart crap. Okay, so this is what I used when I got that tattoo. It's tattoo goo. You ever heard of this stuff? You tattoo girls out there, tattoo girls and boys, you ever heard of this stuff? You can get it when you're, you're there at the shop, the body piercing shop, and they tell you get some of this for the life of your tattoo and this is the tattoo goo original and it is good stuff i really do recommend it anytime you get a tattoo this is the stuff they have changed the packaging since then i think but the logo is the same it's the same like green gel flower thing now, i really loved this i sold the matching makeup bag which has lemons on it just like this i just sold it i let it go but this little palette is so adorable and it was one of the first palettes that I panned and it is Lily Pulitzer for Estee Lauder. I know it's not going to mean much to anybody else, but it means a lot to me because it's so cute and it felt so good to pan these four tiny shades. <laughs> I really did like enjoy it. I kept them in there to show me what colors they were. So there's still product left. Um, and I didn't know how old this was because I got it at, like, the Habitat store, which is a restore. They sell all kinds of things. So I didn't really know how old it was. But it's a pure color eyeshadow palette. It has Sandbar Beige, 50, um, Nude Fresco, 47, Sepia Sand, 18, and Wild Sable, 04. I have two more items. One of them is another 2003, 2004, 2005 my friend Sierra, she used to copy everything that we did. If you sang a song, she would sing it better, <laughs> even though she didn't sing it better. If you drew a picture, she would ask if she could borrow it, and then she would trace it, and then she would show everyone her version of it. If you had homework, she would try to copy it. Anyway, she gave me this, and I have it, and it reminds me of her. <laughs> uh, I hope she never watches this video, because I could not stand her. But I love this. Um, when I was a kid, I used to think that I li secretly, me and Indigo, <laughs> we lived on another planet and we were just like changelings, I guess. And we were really unicorns. Okay, we were really unicorns. Really. We weren't people. We were unicorn babies and pegasus. So this is a little trinket box. Plastic box. Sorry for my rant. <laughs> I'm sure those of you, um, you have stories too. I glued this onto something and I took it off. And there's one more thing in here. It's a tiny little travel size thing from Ipsy that I couldn't throw away. And it's one of the first things that I kept because I couldn't throw it away. I could put it in my dollhouse. I think that that would be cute. This is a Winky Lux Diamond Powder in Medium. And it's hot pink and it's just so cute. And it's just adorable. I just love this. I don't know. It, this is really what got me started on my hoarding tiny little travel size things. So my, my basket is going to be filled up again with my hoarded items, and please let me know what you think. Is this a political statement, <laughs> or is this just me being um, a makeup hoarder who used to be a poor kid? Well, I'm still a poor kid, really. Um, but, I mean, what do you think? Would, would you do this? Have you done this with, like, things that are, like, really sentimental, or they're really pretty? Um, or, I mean, what do you think? Let me know what you think. I would love to hear it. And thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to hang out with me. I really appreciate you. I hope that you give this a thumbs up. And I hope that you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, mermaids.